Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Blood Frontier Tutorials. Today I'm going to be going through the UI of the game, the user interface, and some of the game modes. Um, okay, let's start with options. This is where you can go and change your name. The team doesn't really make a difference. Um, you'll probably be auto-assigned to a team when you go online. This and you can click whichever you want. Uh, GFX is what you, whatever you want the uh, the visuals to be. Uh, red is checked, black is checked. You can see they're checked, or whichever's checked. Uh, the red are uh, the color. It's color coordinated so that the red ones are will slow down your performance but the game will look beautiful the green ones are slightly less beautiful but um, will make your it run faster so just crank that up display um, this is if you want to get really into it you, well, your gamma your anti-alias al aliasing that kind of stuff you can turn off your full screen here so if you want to make it uh, just a window uh, this is if you want to show your crosshair in game, um, the thing that you aim by. This imp this changes your crosshair size. You can make it um, bigger or smaller um, based on your preference. Um, zoom crosshairs when you zoom in on the rifle, you can change the size of the crosshair. Um, FPS this just t tells you how many frames per second you're running. Um, and you can change that. Uh, the notice messages. Um, I just have that set to everything because I don't really know what that means. Um, this is the resolution. You have a wide array of things, to re uh, resolutions to choose from, or, or you can enter your own. So find out what your resolution is and put that in. Sound. You can change the volume, frequency, um, and master volume, all that good stuff. Um, the mouse. You can change to the sensitivity and moving left and right and moving up and down sensitivity. Uh, invert Y axis also means that when you move your mouse up the camera will go down. If you move your mouse down the camera will go up. Same thing with the X. The X axis will stay the same but it will just invert the Y axis. Keys. This is how you change what you want to press to do anything. Um, you can you can change this. Let's say we want to have Q for dropping weapon. Oops. Okay. So you click one, and then you press whatever you button you want, and then you hit escape. Now to exit out of this, you click the red X. Help. Just to, you can show your version, and you can get online support for if you have any problems. Okay. Game modes. I'm going to just show you what you're probably going to encounter in online game modes, uh, or in online games. Uh, deathmatch, secure the flag, and capture the flag. Deathmatch, the goal is to pretty much kill everybody. Uh, and once you open that, there are mutators, which you can you can tune the game to your, 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 your whatever you want it to do. So insta-give means that you, that everyone dies with one shot, you have one health, everyone has one health. Um, this shows you your game mode up here. Um, your arena means um, when you press comma you can pr uh, choose any weapon you want otherwise you have to run around and pick up weapons. Multi-sided means there's more than one team. Uh, actually no, team play means there's more than one team. Multi-sided means there's more than two teams. There's three or four team play. If you have multi-sided unchecked it just means it's two team. Duel is when you have two people that are fighting and then the winner plays another person and then the winner of that plays another person and it just is a continuing game. Survivor is oops, I have to uncheck this. Survivor is last man standing wins. Um you can turn on any of these at a time. I'm just gonna show you just to show you uh because I did not show you how to I did not show you what uh without arena turned on in the last episode. Also, secure the flag is like bases and you have to run around and capture the bases. Uh if you walk up to one, you will I'll show you that how to capture them. Um capture the flag. I think everyone knows how to play capture the flag. 
um, you run over, capture the flag, grab the flag, and bring it to your base. Um, let me show you secure the flag. Turn it off. Make sure arena's off. Okay. Let's pick. You can pick your map here. Whatever maps you want. Um, I'm gonna make it the same map that I had um, in episode one, just to keep everything kind of consistent here. So. There we go. Wait for it to load. Here we go. Oh, loud. Let's turn down the volume a bit here. That's a lot better. Okay. So see, now you start with the pistol. And see, this is the melee I talked about last episode. So you need, see, you need to run over to weapons, plus press E to pick them up, and now you have that weapon. Now you can go over and capture bases. Die! Where'd it go? Ah, I must get an SMG! Oh, and just FYI, the skin that I have for that SMG is not the stock skin. That's a skin that I've made, personally. Um, so you have to run over to them and press E to pick them up, just like you would grenades, and then you can just scroll through them r regularly. So you pretty much just have to capture bases, and that's cool. Now, to change the game mode in-game, if you're doing this offline, it's a lot easier. Ah, crud. Okay, here we go. It's a lot easier offline because you c you can force game modes, but online you have to be master and you have to be an admin on the server, etc., etc., etc. Darn. Okay, so to change the game mode, press F2 and it'll bring up the same thing that you saw there in the beginning. And you can change the map, change the game mode, and you can also just add bots. So you ch you change the the bot balance and uh, skill level. So 70 to 80 is the default. Um, you can set them to 50 or so, and then you. Let me show you. Well, oops, somebody's shooting at me. Let me show you. See, there's three on the red team, two on the blue team. Now we click add bot, press F2, add bot. Now there's more. Press F2, add bot, press F2, add bot. See, now there's more. And you can keep adding bots and make a giant battle. I wouldn't suggest it on a map this small because it just gets to be chaos, but hey, you never know. Oh, there's a base up there. It's getting too loud in here. There we go, that's a little better. Okay. Dang. Okay. So to just get out, you hit escape and hit disconnect. Now you're back to your main menu. And uh quick play is also you can just hit it and it'll give you a random game mode or a random map. <coughs> and then you wait for it to load and it'll just start. This is conveniently on capture the flag, so I can show you how capture the flag works. Press N to start playing. And let's see. Let's run around, find a weapon. Grenades. Oh no! Flamethrower! Ah, victory! Okay, so what we have to do is let's find the enemy base. Ah! Uh, there we go up here. See, it's just taken by bot six. Now I have to go and find bot six and m murder him. Let's find bot six. Where did you go, bot six? Flamethrower! I found. What other weapons do I have? Oh, I forgot to pick up that shotgun. Shoot. Okay, here we go. 
That blue guy's on my team. That's why he's not shooting at me. He can only carry two grenades at a time. Here, this guy's with the flag. Let's kill this guy. See, now I have the flag. Now I have to keep it as long as I can until I die. Okay. Thanks for watching. This is my second tutorial video. My next one will be on editing and the environment in Blood Frontier. And thank you.